Good morning, everybody. I am Dr. S. D. Chauhan, Department of Physics Assistant Professor of Department of Physics. Now, this is our uh, <coughs> first session, and uh, towards me, uh, the paper number one, which is to be related with the mechanics and properties of matter, is towards me. Now, today, in introductory section, we will see what exactly uh, we will learn in this uh, basically paper that is mechanics and properties of matter. Basically, you already studied at the standard number of uh, basic laws uh, which are related with the classical mechanics or the we can say the mechanics is to be there. Now, <clears throat> what exactly the syllabi is to be there that we will see today. Now, first of all, the first unit is to be no doubt mechanics. Now, in this, what we will learn, basically we all aware about the basic laws of the mechanics that is the newton's law of uh, newton's laws of motion and that is what the newtonian mechanics it is also called to be as a newtonian mechanics classical mechanics having the another name that is the newtonian mechanics is to be there because uh, this is totally based with the uh, laws of the um, newton's laws of the motions are to be there Newton's law of gravitation is different and the Newton's laws of motions that is the force mass <coughs> inertia that is different thing in this case we will learn basic uh, what exactly the basic laws related with the inertia means what what is mean by the force what is mean by the uh, mass is also to be there how they are correlated with each other uh, another one is Newton's laws of uh, Newton's law of gravitation that we are already aware about that it is directly proportional to the forces of attraction in between them that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the uh, sphere of the distance in between them. Now again the Kepler's laws which already of planetary motions we uh, already seen in the 12th standard similar laws which how they are correlated with each other that we will also learn. Another one is to be gravitational field, how it is to be as an attraction or these forces are working and that is how it is to be called to be as an gravitational field and what exactly the gravitational field is related with the another part that is to call to be as an uh, your gravitational intensity and that is what we will see in this case also what is to be as a your gravitational intensity related with that how it is to be the gravitational potential meaning to be there what exactly the gravitational potential energy that is also we will see in detail again conservation laws how, how, how they are correlated with this uh, whatever the basic fields or the laws of the motions are to be there and again uh, basic uh, another one law which is to be as an uh, theorem we can say work energy theorem that is the work power kinetic energy how they are correlated with each other how the work is dependent or the related with the power and how the power is related with the kinetic energy or the energy is to be there and all these things are uh, nothing but to be giving you the work energy theorem that is also at the 12th standard i think you uh, might be you have studied now the another one part which is to be again uh, the conservation of energy for the uh, particle energy functions motion of the body near the surface of the earth that we will also see in this uh, additional part that is to be as in this uh, uh, somehow the syllabi little bit changed last time and uh, this is also the conservation energy part we will see in detail again the types of the conservation and the non-conservation um, non-conservative forces we will see this is how uh, related with this uh, mechanics is to be there very basic unit and uh, what means to be classical mechanics and what is to be as in mechanics is to be there that is to be there in this first unit now moving towards the uh, second unit what exactly it contains uh, the second unit is to be based with the totally having the name surface tension that is also uh, you learn in the 11th 12th standard what the surface tension property is to be there and uh, related with what is to be molecular forces and how they are giving you the this surface tension part and this is what to be as means to be as a surface tension how it is to be uh, basically we uh, at the 10th standard also we learn with the uh, games and the playing with the particularly glass water and uh, coin is to be there or number of things uh, experiments we done related with the surface tension how it is to be related with the uh, particularly <coughs> uh, 
excess pressure part that is also we are learning in this unit now pressure difference across the curved surface that is uh, also we will learn how it is to be correlated with the another uh, pressure differences across the curved surface how the surface tension is different at different where it is to be plain where it is to be convex where it is to be concave at that time what is exactly the surface tension and what is to be as an cohesive energy or we can say the resultant energy is to be there again related with this the uh, i already told you that is excess pressure the expression for the excess pressure inside a spherical drop and also uh, inside a uh, spherical soap bubble uh, that is the two parts which is which is to be giving the shape for the any drop uh, when we will take on the any plane surface area we will have the convex type of the half semi sphere is to be there how it is going to be their form that is uh, due to the excess pressure that we will learn in detail how this uh, going to be happening as far as the spherical soap bubble that we will uh, childs or the children are playing with this uh, soap bubbles that is uh, how much time they live in this uh, atmosphere that have the reason that uh, makes the uh, surface tension properties how it is going to be working while playing with the soap bubbles are to be there and that all related with the excess pressure and how much amount of the excess pressure is to be there that is also we are going to be calculating for the spherical drop as well as the spherical soap bubble again related with this uh, surface tension part uh, there are the two methods the one scientist uh, jaggers <coughs> he introduced one method to find out the surface tension of the liquids and uh, that's uh, how uh, the total experiment uh, you will done you will do sorry in the your uh, experimental lab also the same experiment uh, is going to be explained how the surface tension we have to calculate with the uh, setup of these jaggers another one scientist uh, that is uh, his name is ferguson and uh, there is another sub ferguson method to calculate the surface tension of the liquids are to be there that experiment is uh, uh, in the second year you will perform but at this <coughs> same year you will uh, ex uh, do the experiment that is jaggers method is to be there now this is what the surface tension and related part we will learn in this uh, second unit moving forward uh, the third one unit is to be again related with the one another basic property and uh, that is the viscosity that is also to be when we will see any sea or any type of the water is to be there and uh, flowing water is to be there how this viscosity is to be there layer to layer difference of the dragging forces are going to be there how the layers having the different velocities how they are going to be the uh, zero velocity where the velocity is maximum when the flowing water is to be there all these parts are related with this your viscosity is to be there it is somehow giving you the frictional uh, resistance uh, property in between the uh, layer to layer friction is to be there and that we will see in detail what is meant to be as an viscosity introductory part that is the coefficient of viscosity eta how is it is going to be calculated what is meant to be as a streamline flow is to be there and what is to be the critical velocity uh, that how the streamline flow is going to be disturbed at the beyond the critical velocity that is also uh, we will learn again the reynolds number and its significance which is also related with our critical velocity and uh, related with the one of the uh, basic and the very important law that is bernoulli's theorem is to be there uh, that is uh, how they are related with this uh, pressure energy kinetic energy potential energy part is to be there that bernoulli and bernoulli's theorem we will learn again the very uh, first uh, scientist <coughs> who find exactly the unit for this uh, viscosity and that is somehow we use as a poise now this poise is uh, unit comes through this uh, poiseless equation because this uh, this scientist uh, first uh, find out the unit for this uh, viscosity or this property he found and uh, he introduced the setup to calculate the viscosity of the any liquid and that's why the poiseless equation for the flow of the liquid through the tube 
that uh, experimental setup, how it works, that we will see in detail also. The experimental determination of the coefficient of viscosity by the Poiseuille's method, that is also we will learn in detail. And this is what the basically the second, uh, uh, sorry, third unit, which is to be related with the viscosity is to be there. The another one basic property we will learn in this uh, third unit. The last one unit, that is again the another basic property you already learned in the 11th, 12th standard or might be in the 10th standard is also to be there. And that is nothing but to be elasticity. That uh, basically what means to be elasticity, how the rubber and anything comes to the, its original points, whatever the property which is basically to reorient its original position. This is basically what to be as an elasticity is to be there. Why this uh, particularly every particle or sorry, every uh, body is not uh, doing the same elasticity because why they are how they are going to be performed according to that either the plastic body or the elastic uh, elasticity body is to be there that we will see in this uh, fourth unit introductory part and the hooks law what is mean to be there elastic constant that is why <coughs> uh, k and eta that is nothing but to be young's modulus uh, bulk modulus and modulus of rigidity that is what is mean by the modulus and how they are correlated with the stress and the strain is to be there. What is mean by to be stress and what is mean by to be strain. That is also we will learn in detail how these are going to be formed as a your uh, Young's modulus, bulk modulus and modulus of rigidity. And again, how they are correlated with each other. What is the relationship is to be there in between this. That is also the part of this elastic constants are to be there. Again, the one another law that is to be the law or in that sense the poisons ratio that we will see in detail the another one which is to be the very nice and the important properties we will learn about the twisting couple on the cylinder or a wire is to be there how the bending moments are to be there what exactly meaning to be as a related the twisting couple or the that is force on the cylinder is to be on the wire is to be there Torsional pendulum we will see uh, it is to be how the pendulum we already learned simple pendulum that uh, in this case we will learn about the torsional pendulum is to be how it works and how these uh, oscillations are going to be calculated how the time period is going to be calculated the bending of the beam if suppose I am bending the beam how the forces are going to be acting internal external again the stress related part how they are going to be working at that stage that is also we are uh, learn we will learn in this uh, bending of beam again what means to be as an bending moment is to be there for the uh, circular or the rectangular beam is to be there that is also we will learn in detail for these bending moments again in this unit we will learn about the cantilever what is uh, to be as an cantilever is meaning to be the rectangular bar is going to be continuous throughout the end and uh, what exactly the uh, weight of the beam is when the weight of the beam is going to be effective and the ineffective is to be there and how it is going to be playing a playing a role in the bending of moment is to be there with the when the weight is taken into uh, if ineffective and the, in another part when the weight of the beam is effective when considering these two cases the uh, what is the compression or depression is going to be there that is also going to be calculated again the depression of the beam supported at the end of the uh, uh, end and the loaded at the center when the uh, depression or the weight is given at the middle and the uh, bar is or the your cantilever is on the two edges at the two end then at the center if load is going to be uh, given then in that case what is to be the depression how it is going to be the half of whatever with the total load is given that we will see in detail again related with this part the determination of y that is young's modulus uh, by bending of beam that is the stress upon strain that is the young's modulus linear uh, stress upon strain that is to be we can say that gives you the young's modulus and how it is going to be uh, determined uh, using this uh, bending uh, of beam is to be there uh, or this experimental setup is to be there how they are going to be calculated how much amount is to be there uh, 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 for the uh, bending of the beam is to be there why is to be there that we will going to be find out so this is what the another uh, basic property that is elasticity we will learn in this fourth unit 
if you look at all these four units uh, basically either if we are starting with the mechanics another one is the your surface tension viscosity and the elasticity all these are nothing but to be your uh, basic properties which you learned at the um, basically at the 11th or the 12th standard we are going to see in detail basically this uh, how these uh, properties are uh, going to be uh, very much important for your uh, next two years are to be there because with these properties you will learn uh, different uh, parts of the specialties of the uh, or the sub parts of the physics are to be sub branches of the physics are to be there that's why these properties basic properties are very much important and that's why for the first year this uh, basic uh, properties uh, sorry the fundamental properties is going to be taken for the your study and under this mechanics and properties of mechanics uh, paper is to be there paper number one that is to be towards me now again uh, uh, what will be uh, the best books uh, for the referencing that is to be also important part and basically the, this one book is sufficient for your all the four units that is elements of properties of matter ds mathur author is ds mathur this book is very much uh, useful for the syllabi whatever the four units we have again again you can uh, go for the general properties of matter jc upadhyay and uh, another one is to be the mechanics only this one is the older copy of the 18 something 1970 something like is to be there that copy is a single one copy is to be there this is oldest book uh, and uh, fortunately we have this book in our library that is to be J. C. Upadhyay's uh, mechanics is to be there very old book but very nice book two three properties of the first unit that is related with the mechanics are to be we will learn uh, through this uh, um, reference book and these are the three uh, basic uh, authors books are to be there for the referencing you can take it and read uh, for the your syllabi is to be covered with these three uh, books are to be there now uh, this is uh, time to say thank you very much for the joining this first session all my videos will be available with uh, whatever the my channel is to be there if you want so different types of the videos related with this there is also uh, for the second year third year already uploading through this channel and you can uh, enjoy these uh, properties of the uh, physics uh, through these uh, videos you will get the number of videos related with the another uh, parts also and uh, thank you and be at home and be safe